Hi, welcome to BMP webinar. Today we are going to speak about communication management. I am Chandra MR, a certified ITL expert, BMP, Prince2, Agile Scrum Master, COVID-5, and uh, lead assessor for TIPA methodology and DevOps. So as part of this webinar, we are going to look at understanding what is project communication management is all about, communication management overview, and communication management processes. So now before we get started, subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us on trending technologies. Also, if you're looking for online training certification relating to any technology or any course, check out the link in the description box below. So let us move on relating to understanding project communication management. So project communication management, when we say the word term, the communication, it's all about conveying a certain message, meaning passing message from one entity to another entity. So project communication management involves sender, means basically many stakeholders within the project, many stakeholders outside the project, with whom project manager has to communicate. At the same time, within the project, project team will communicate. So project communication, the moment we say that, we need to understand what are the communications requirements in the project. And then communication has to be done, complying to those communication management plans defined. So project communication management focuses on that aspect, the importance of communication to make the project successful. So project communication management is all about understanding what is the project communication needs are, and then communicating accordingly. Project communication management includes the processes necessary to ensure that the information needs of the projects and its stakeholders are met through development of artifacts and implementation of activities designed to achieve effective information exchange. So communication management overview. So while communicating, when we say communication, there are a lot of ways the communications are done verbal communication, written communication. In these two, you can also think about formal, verbal, formal, written, informal, verbal, informal, written. So these four type of communication, four combination, which we saw just now, formal, verbal, informal, verbal, formal, written, informal, written. So what is formal, verbal? What is informal, verbal? What is formal, written? What is informal, written? This needs to be very clearly articulated. And using the trends and emerging practices also is very important, which is inclusion of stakeholders in project reviews, inclusion of stakeholders in project meetings, increased use of social computing, social platforms, multifaceted approaches to communication. So these dynamics has to be understood. And as the practices evolve, as the need of the market changes, as the dynamics of the environment changes, communication requirements also changes. The way you communicate, one communicates also changes. So one needs to understand those dynamics and accordingly communication has to be done so that communication requirements are fulfilled. So while communicating, looking at those communication needs, one needs to ensure the communication happens as needed by the stakeholders. So who are the stakeholders? That needs to be identified. So if we look at the overall framework, the 10 knowledge areas, five process groups and 49 processes, the way they are distributed, we see in initiating process group, there are only two processes, one process in integration management and other process in stakeholder management. So what happens there is in the integration management process, which is project charter, which is getting created, project manager assignment happens. Once the project manager is assigned and authorized, the immediate next job, the first job to project manager is to go and meet stakeholders, identify stakeholders. So once the stakeholders are identified, stakeholders communication requirements has to be understood. And identification of stakeholder is not the one-time job. It has to happen throughout the project life cycle and their communication requirement has to be understood. So location, physical location of the stakeholder, communication requirement of the stakeholder, the technology, which needs to be used for communication, the platforms which needs to be used for communication, the language, the knowledge management required for communication has to be understood. 
So why do we need to have knowledge management when we do communication is because whenever there is a specific knowledge about a specific domain area, the individual who is having the domain knowledge and the maturity of that individual in that domain may be high, may be medium or low. So while speaking with those individuals of specific maturity level in a specific domain area, the discussion should align to that. So there cannot be a discussion which is happening, the communication which is happening, which would not make any sense. It should not look immature or it would not look like it is not even understood. So one needs to understand who is the receiver of the communication. So based on that, the articulation of the communication should happen. Based on that, the frequency of the communication should happen. Based on the vocabularies used has to be chosen. So all this needs to be considered while tailoring the communication during the project. So communication management processes. So communication management process. There are three processes defined in communication management knowledge area. That is plan communications management, manage communication and monitor communications. Even though it looks like only three processes, the dynamics associated with communication management is not simple. It is not very objective always. It is very subjective many times. The communicator versus the person who is receiving. The language, the maturity, the vocabularies, the time of communication, the template used, the channel used, all these plays important role during the communication. Similarly, when we plan for communication management, considerations to all of this should be there. While managing communication, yes, there is a defined approach, defined template, defined information which that communication carries. Even after that, the dynamics of the situations has to be understood while communicating. And there should be room for communicator to understand that and do that necessary modifications, maybe in language, maybe in additional details which are being given, maybe the tone in which if it is a verbal communication, the selection of those specific words and vocabulary while doing a written communication and is it should be written in the caps or it's okay if it is not caps that needs to be understood the way the flow of thoughts happens during the communication even that needs to be understood so all these are individuals quality which has to be built now project manager will have a challenge in this regard if project manager is not sensitive about these aspects now, as the communication happen, monitoring the communication should happen. But when you monitor the communication, it doesn't mean all those additional aspects, the qualities which are looked at while communication, you don't have a scale to measure those. But however, the frequency of communication, the content of communication, the objective of communication, templates used for communication, only those can be checked. Are these used as per the plan? Otherwise, one would not even know what is being communicated is that communication management plan is complied with or not that will not be visible so communication management is very important and 90 percent of the times project manager spends his or her time communicating throughout the project life cycle so by this itself one can understand how important the communication is during the project the first process in project communication management is plan communication management. So plan communication management process is the initial process of project communication management knowledge area. In this process, a systematic and effective way the plan is developed for the activities involved in project communication. It majorly makes use of information like the requirement of each and every stakeholders and teams, organizational assets available and the project needs. Project communication management plan also involves the list of stakeholders, their communication requirements and these communication requirements keeps changing as the project progresses. There are a lot of stakeholders who will get added to whom the communications has to be made. And at the same time, the dynamics of the communications will also change in terms of what kind of communication has to be sent at what part of the project. During the starting, in the initiating part of the project, the communication needs may be different. While execution is happening as the project progresses and peaks, communication requirements differs. Maybe frequency of communication will change, number of stakeholders to be communicated will change, and that keeps varying. So communication management is very dynamic. 
so those dynamics has to be considered while planning communications management so creation of templates can also be done so that the more frequent communications like weekly updates monthly updates fortnight updates so that can have a specific uh, templates to the specific set of stakeholders so inputs to plan communication management includes project charter project management plan which includes resource management plan and stakeholder engagement plan project documents like requirements documentation and stakeholder register enterprise environmental factors and organizational process assets so tools used during project communication management are expert judgment communication requirement analysis while discussing with stakeholders one needs to understand what are the communication requirement that needs to be analyzed that needs to be checked then technology which are used for communication data representation communication models communication methods interpersonal and team skills then meetings so looking at the number of tools which are looked at for communication management itself emphasizes on the point how important the communication would be many project may fail just because of wrong communications misunderstood communications it is very essential to ensure communication management is planned carefully and that is executed accordingly outputs of planned communication management would be communication management plan project management plan updates and project document updates manage communication is a process which happens while communications happens throughout the project life cycle so this process we see as part of executing process group where this process manages the communication throughout means the communication happens throughout the project life cycle which mainly aims to collect create distribute store retrieve manage monitor and finally dispose the information related to the project appropriately and timely manner so it is performed throughout the project life cycle in order to provide an effortless and efficient flow of information from the project team to stakeholders and vice versa so this process also help in identifying different aspects of effective communication along with the most suitable methodologies technologies and techniques inputs to manage communication process would be project management plan which is resource management plan communication management plan stakeholder engagement plan then project documents like change log issue log lessons learned registers quality report risk report stakeholder register work performance reports which can be presented as dashboards heat reports stop light charts or other representations ef and opa tools used to manage communications would be project reporting communication technology project management information systems meetings communication skills communication methods interpersonal and team skills outputs of manage communication process would be project communications where project communications are happening is that happening the way it is planned or not project management plan updates project document updates and opa updates so next process would be monitor communication monitor communication is part of monitoring and controlling process group so monitoring communication process is the final process of communication management knowledge area this process ensures that all the information needs and requirements of the project and the involved stakeholders are met by its completion it is performed throughout the project life cycle and helps in optimizing the flow of the information as per the communication management plan and stakeholder engagement plan so inputs to monitor communication would be project management plan that is resource management plan communication management plan stakeholder engagement plan project documents like issue log lessons learned register project communications are used work performance data on actual performance of the project ef and opa tools used would be expert judgment data analysis project management information system interpersonal and team skills meetings whereas outputs of monitor communication process would be work performance information about communication change request if there is any deviation project management plan updates and project document updates so that's all about project communication management feel free to write to us thank you very much for being here until the next webinar thank you take care